Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, how are you? I am good and I hope you'll find wherever you are. My name is Selina Rika Kusumanitias. In this video, I'm going to share my understanding about ontology and epistemology of qualitative research as an assignment on qualitative research on table 6C. Okay. I'm going to explain about ontology first. Ontology is basically the study of things that exist, especially things whose existence is logically entailed by a theory. If your theory logically entails the existence of some X, we will say that you are ontologically commit to the existence of that X. You may have heard um, the word ontology when talking about arguments for the existence of God. The ontological arguments for the existence of God are basically trying to show that your existing theory on whatever you want be, its definition of words or modality is ontologically commit to the existence of, of God. It implies the existence of God just logically. Ontological commitment, as we said, if for your theory to work, you need to, for there to be, for example, some stuff called that meter. It means you are, you are ontologically commit uh, to the existence, uh, to the existence of dark matter. Okay, we are going to explain about epistemology. So epistemology is about question what is knowledge and how do we actually get knowledge? If there is a reality out there, as we would discuss in ontology, we now pose the second question is, how can we understand reality or can we understand reality or do we need to measure reality? And usually in textbook, there is diction, dic distinction made between either a positive view and a more interpretive view. First, positivism view. It consists of empirist. It's knowledge via senses, deductive or theory testing, indu inductivist or theory buildings with objectivity and creating the scientific statement. So for interpretivist, it's about social action and the reason of people actions. And in this view, the social world is constructed by social actors. We can understand the reality using social actors perspective, uh, or we call it subjective perspective. In this, interpretivist tries to see the work from the eyes of the research uh, or the people on the study. But that is just a simple way to answering the question, how do we gain knowledge? In fact, as a researcher, uh, it is impossible to apply only one criteria to our research because in every research, 
there must be at least two criteria involved. Example, if we are going to explain about the causality of variables, we probably need to understand the subjective of reality and know the reason behind people's action. Or we might probably need to use both verification or uh, verification and falsification for our research. Therefore, there are so many possible dimensions that can come up depending on the problems or the idea of our research. So maybe that's all my understanding about ontology and epistemology. Hopefully it will help you to understand ontology and epistemology. So thank you for your attention. Stay safe and stay healthy. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.